Louise, good evening. Relax. That's the message SU Associate Professor for Public Health Dr. David Larson has for Syracuse University students worried about the Omicron variant. Today we spoke with many students to learn just how concerned they actually are. It's déjà vu for some Syracuse University students. And our professor this morning in one of our classes like gave a little talk and it was the same one he gave like in 2020 to everyone who was still here. The Omicron variant is raising concerns across the country and New York State. So we're monitoring it globally, we're monitoring it here in New York State. But Syracuse University professor Dr. David Larson says not so fast. It's, it's so early. There's a lot of concern, a lot of panic, and, and I would just encourage everyone to, to just maybe relax a little bit. Yet the university is still taking action. This afternoon, SU Vice Chancellor J. Michael Haney sent out an email announcing new measures in response to the growing concerns. These include an increase in student testing as well as enhanced wastewater surveillance. Yet as students continue to learn more information about the Omicron variant, Dr. Dave Larson says it's important to remain calm. It's Omicron will likely be less impactful than Delta was. And Delta was quite, you know, Delta was less impactful than the rise of the original SARS-2 variant. And some students we spoke with are on the same page. Right now I'm probably like a four out of 10 because I'm just beginning to hear about it. Um, but obviously like, my guard is definitely up and like I am definitely going to err on the side of caution, I think. Tonight, everyone on the SU campus is concerned, but not everyone is taking action. Now, one of the students we spoke with mentioned that their professor today advised them to bring many of their belongings home with them in case in-person academic instruction is suspended. Now, Dr. Larson today did not agree with the professor's mes message, rather, and says students should not have this level of concern. Now, reporting live in studio, I'm John Perrick, Citrus TV News.